This article contains affiliate links, we may receive a commission on any sales we generate from it. Learn more Maya Angelou, who is the subject of tonight's documentary Imagine on BBC4, had a notoriously difficult childhood. One particular incident, when she was just seven years old, saw her experience a terrible trauma which would play a big part in her life to come. Angelou is renowned for her authority over language, making it even more surprising to know that she was mute for six years during her childhood. At the age of seven, she was raped by her mother's then-boyfriend. The perpetrator was found beaten to death shortly after she had spoken about what happened and who did it. In her autobiography, I Know Why the Caged Bird Sings, Angelou described how the distressing event led her to believe she was the one at fault. She solemnly wrote, I thought my voice killed him. I killed that man because I told his name. Distraught, she decided she would simply never speak again to avoid bringing harm to anyone else her family similarly avoiding speaking about the entire incident ever again. Angelou never received support or counseling during her years of mutism. The young poet became depressed and withdrew herself as much as possible, describing herself in that time like an old biscuit, dirty and inedible. She faced endless criticism for her silence during her stay in Arkansas with her grandmother, whom she called Mama. In a 2003 story for the Smithsonian Magazine, Angelou recalled what her grandmother told her at the time, Sister, Mama don't care what these people say, that you must be an idiot, a moron, cause you can't talk. Mama don't care. During this time Angelou found solace in literature and her local library, influencing her love of writing. An even bigger influence was local teacher Bertha Flowers who helped her find her voice once again. Don't miss, Angelou fiercely enjoyed Flowers' teaching style, and recalled in her autobiography how the teacher had once told her that simply reading was not good enough. She explained that the meaning behind words only grew more meaningful with a human voice behind it. Flowers further encouraged Angelou's literature fascination and got the young girl to speak by challenging her to read poetry aloud, stating, You do not love poetry, not until you speak it. At age 13 Angelou began to speak again, her first words coming from a book of poetry. Flowers' influence on Angelou's life lasted long after her years as a student, with the poet heading into a teaching career at Wake Forest University as a humanities professor. In a 2013 article for The Guardian, Angelou explained that she entered the profession believing she was a writer who could teach but found it was quite the opposite. Ultimately, she saw teaching as her true professional calling describing herself as a teacher who could write. The documentary Imagine, which chronicles Angelou's life and work on film, airs tonight at 10pm on BBC4.